Hello, welcome to Miss Sogram's Maths. Today we are looking at Pythagorean identities. And the first uh, thing that we need to know in this is a couple of simple things, which is that tan theta is identically equal to sine theta over cos theta. Now, when it's an identity, we can put that three lined equal sign, but you don't need to worry about it too much in your working out. It just means that it's always true no matter what the value of theta is. And we also have that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Again, it's identically equal to. It will always be equal to 1, no matter what value theta is. Then with a little bit further manipulation, we also get these other two results. Tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared theta. Cot squared theta plus 1 is cosec squared theta. And those are on your level 3 formula sheet. And here is an example of where you might be asked to use these. So we are asked to prove that sine theta times sec theta times cot theta is always going to be equal to 1. Now the key here is to start on one side and try and make it equal the other side. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. And we manipulate that. So sine theta doesn't change just yet, but cos theta, uh, sec is 1 over cos theta. And cot theta is 1 over tan theta, which is also, if tan was going to be sine over cos, then 1 over tan would be cos over sine. So we'll rewrite this like this. Now, when we multiply um, fractions, we just times all of the tops by all of the bottoms like this. So we will end up with something that is the same on the top and the bottom. So that is equal to 1. And we just finish that off by saying that was equal to the right hand side, which is what we were asked to do. Now, we usually put this notation at the end. It's just a little bit of um, uh, maths notation there, this QED. Uh, that is saying quad erit demonstratum is a little bit of Latin that says, so I have shown it. You don't absolutely have to put it there, but I'm just showing you that's kind of the, the mathematical norm for when you've been asked to show something and you finished it, you put QED at the end. And we'll do another example. This time we're asked to prove that sec x over tan x is equal to cosec x. So if we start with the left hand side, this would be, uh, well, sec is 1 over cos. That's being multiplied by 1 over tan, but 1 over tan would be cos x over sine x. So the cos x and the cos x would cancel. We get 1 over sine x, and that is cosec x by definition. So that is now equal to the right-hand side. We've finished that demonstration. And we'll do one last one to finish things off. So example number three. We'll start with the left-hand side. And if we just go back up to those formulae that were at the top, remember cot squared plus one is the same as cosec squared. And then for one minus cos squared, well, if cos squared plus sine squared equals one, then if you rearrange this to be one minus cos squared there, then cos squared, uh, 1 minus cos squared would equal sine squared. So this is equal to sine squared theta. Well, cosec is 1 over sine squared theta. Timesing it by sine squared theta means that those sine squareds will cancel. That's equal to 1, which was the right-hand side as we were asked for.